We're here at the Doji and this is the new V with a notch. I don't think you needed to do a notch, but otherwise this display is really, really quite awesome. It is very light fold. And check the round corners are very, very cool. It's just too bad that they have a notch, I think. Because there's absolutely no need to have a notch. Uh, it's just to be a copy of an apple. But uh, right here, there's a, this is called a V. So it has a MT6750, Quad 53, Quad 53. So it's Octa-Core 53 with a 4000 battery. There's going to be those colors of matte kind of colors and there's gonna be this kind of a shiny blue kind of colors and it's just hundred and ten dollars for distributors so I think it's actually quite an amazing price it's just imagine if they had a version that didn't have this useless notch and that just put the camera at the bottom uh, you know they call it the beard or what do they call it you know the bottom and you can just flip it around when you take selfies you know you don't have there's no need for this notch because in the past last year uh, Doji has this had this beautiful bezel tri bezel less uh, phone where they can easily squeeze the speaker in the top right here so there's a you know the speaker this is a beautiful silver one that's a super AMOLED display uh, very very nice uh, so that's the previous generation and the retail price around $150 but now you know the next generation is a larger display much higher display it's a 6.18 19 by 9 display very cool I just hope they change their mind and they take away the notch if they do that how cool would that be and uh, the port is still a micro USB well I wish they switch over to Type C and uh, support with a display port. How cool would that be if you could have a like a PC mode UI? But okay, they don't have that yet. But uh, then the next thing that's really interesting over here is that soon they'll have a Doji V with a P60 CPU. This is uh, the fastest ARM Cortex A53, uh, 73 and 55, I think, or 53. Uh, that, that's the most powerful octa core. That's coming a little bit later for two hundred and something dollars. Uh, so that's gonna be the Doji V. I'm just afraid they're gonna put the notch on it, but uh, somebody needs to uh, recommend the designer at Doji not put a notch. Okay, I'm, I've said that a few times now in my video. Uh, then they have the mix too, which I think has nothing to do with the mix, because the mix is supposed to be a tri bezel less. This is not a tri bezel less. But anyways, is a full what they call full display, which just means a very tall display, which is the new trend, and it's a fat one. It's a little bit uh, heavy because it's got a nice big battery. It's a P25, so it's a good chipset. It's much heavier than, than these other ones, which is uh, something to consider. Uh, but just for hundred ten dollars uh, for the distributor. It could be quite good. Just uh, take away that notch. This active LCDs are just amazing from the suppliers. Maybe it's Tianma. I did a video with Tianma. You can check them out. It might be a Tianma display. It is possible that potentially it's not as bright as a Super AMOLED. Or is it? Actually, that Super AMOLED is not so crazy bright but uh, I definitely recommend this one except if you I mean if they didn't have a notch for sure it would be a recommended recommendation but let's go walk around this fair because uh, let's see if somebody else uh, is courageous enough to not have a notch on a, this kind of active uh, affordable octa-core media tech and just put your camera on the bottom